Got an M4A1 here from the brand Wadker. The only other blaster I've shown from that brand so far has been um, a Scorpion submachine gun, you know, with the little drum magazine so far. So this is their M4A1. I'll put a link in the description, of course, to the Amazon listing as the brand and seller may be listed different. Um, but this is what, what comes to you. Okay, so I do like that they have a nice box. I mean, you do notice that they a lot of these gel blaster companies don't spend that much on the packaging. And the packaging, to me, can really make a difference. You know, it does seem like the better quality blasters, you know, have come in, in better packaging a lot. So inside their plastic clamshell, everything fits in there nicely. It's just crinkly and loud. So that's why I take everything out and just of note, the optic is underneath the clamshell, so if you do order this blaster and you have trouble finding it, that's where it is. So, looking at the front of the box here, they're saying 280 FPS. I know that we're not going to hit 280 FPS on average. Um, most of these manufacturers are putting up there like uh, that. That number is kind of the high, the the best FPS they got with it with their testing, and also. When it comes to chronographs and testing gel blasters, different variances from weather to altitude to type of gel ball can all matter. So I would say that 280 FPS isn't necessarily wrong. It's just in all the perfect conditions. So I think we're going to probably be more likely on average in that, you know, 230 FPS um, for average, right? So highs are probably going to maybe hit 250. Um, but again, that's just what I'm guessing. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. 80 feet does seem um, seem right. That you know that's about what I'd see with this type of blaster and what I've seen before. 11 shots per second. That's probably correct too. So anyway, just because I've had several people lately who are like, "Well, I'm going to order this blaster on Amazon because the FPS says this," then I just want to say, "Well, I caution you to go with whatever the manufacturer's FPS says. Don't expect that that's going to be average." So this is a cool looking blaster. It is well made as well, so that's nice. Uh, it has the safety colors, which a lot of people here in the U.S. want, so that's good too. So we'll check it out, kind of put it together while we talk about it. Of course, they give you the safety glasses. I don't spend much time on those anymore. Just make sure you wear some sort of eye protection, right? Here's your battery. It's a 1200 mAh, 7.4 volt battery. It's the two plug like connection, which we see on pretty much every M4A1 your JST2 pin for your blaster, and then that little three hole uh, or three pin connection to charge. And here's your AC or your USB charger. Just plug this into any AC adapter and charge that battery up. The other thing that comes up is people ask about this one specifically, can I use an 11.1 volt in this one? Can you, I mean, you probably can use it safely in small doses of time, okay? But if this is your primary blaster, you're going to be using it when you're out actually playing against other people. You're using it for, uh, you know, a couple hours. I think you'll end up hurting it. I don't think it'll manage. So if you decide to do that, do that at your own risk. And just know that you may end up, you know, shredding those gears inside. Now, you certainly can buy replacement metal gears for this. And then you should have no issue with that. But just know that um, to do so at your own risk. And now don't uh, put 11.1 .1 in here, shred it, and then expect to return it to the manufacturer just because that's not cool. But anyway, enough of that, right? So let's see what else we got here. So we got the battery, right? Nice big battery, what, you, what you'd expect with this. Magazine, right? What we've seen with all the M4A1s. Motorized magazine, there's your connections. That's where we're gonna put the, black, the gel balls in. A couple packs of gel beads here. If you don't know how to soak those, I've got lots of videos that explain in depth how to do so. Just remember, plenty of room to grow, plenty of water to feed them, anywhere from three hours to six hours to overnight. Those are all adequate. As long as there's room left over, drain the water. There should be excess water because you didn't guess the perfect ratio. Drain the water, store them in airtight containers. Never store them inside the magazine. And in fact, when they're done playing, Take this out, open it up, shake any extra ones out, even push down that feed button and make sure there's none in the feed tube, okay? Perfectly normal for all brands, all blasters, all price ranges for a few gel balls to stay inside there. You just want to make sure they're out so they don't dehydrate and get stuck to anything. 
stock and buffer tube, right? Buffer tube is where your battery is going to end up living. Let's go ahead and let's put that together here. So we'll put the battery harness. Now these ones do have that nice reinforced heavier duty wire here for the wire harness, which is nice. There's a couple notches on the buffer tube that need to line up with some grooves here on the main part of the blaster. You may actually have to use a little bit of force to push it on and then twist it in place. And now that buffer tube can stay on there until you need to take it off. So your battery, it's always best in my experience to a battery first and then plug the blaster in and push the harness and stuff in on top there so that this is all kind of at one end right where you're going to reach in to get it stock just push that release button or the adjust button whatever we want to call it line it up and it can lock into place in different positions i always like to test it all right so with this one even though it does say semi there's really only safety and automatic. And that's, again, pretty normal with these M4A1s. Okay. This little optic, and remember, these are just really for looks, guys. Don't expect them to make any difference in um, how you can actually aim. They're really just for looks. There's a little tab in here that you're going to pull out in order to activate it. It's easier to slide this on before we put the barrel on. You can always... You know, if you loosen this completely, you could put it on, but otherwise you can't really access that slide point if we put the barrel on first. So that's why I stuck that there. Here is your barrel. If this is not inside, you're just going to put it inside. Make sure the spring's on the front of that little white piece. Just line it up. Push it in. You just want to make sure it has some give like that. They do give you an additional spring, so I guess in case you lose that one. This is going to attach similar to how the stock did, or the buffer tube, where it kind of lines up, and then turn it. And again, it should be a little bit of resistance there, so that stays on nice and tight. Lastly, we would just fill this up, which I'm not going to right now since I'm not shooting. And you just put it in the magwell. Magazine release buttons right here, like it is on all the M4A1s. And this does have the priming magazine so we can hear the battery or the motor running inside the magazine when we pull that back and it just flips open your dust cover okay so that's really cool to have that once you have one of these motorized magazines where they have the priming which most do but not all that's just a really nice feature because that gets that feed tube all full with those gel balls before you start shooting so it doesn't take a couple seconds like some of the other automatic ones would if they didn't have that so cool feature there so overall, nice gel ball blaster, nice safe colors, good features, well made. Obviously with the M4A1, the capability of upgrades and modifications are endless. So that's a nice feature too. So let me know what you guys think. Comments, questions, please post them below. Of course, please share, please subscribe, please like, and please participate in the giveaways. So we'll go ahead, we'll do an FPS test and a demo, and we'll see how this one performs.